What's up at you for today's video with a full dealing and swords mark forms evolution team super bowser this one is for you so i'll be using every single dealing form and swords buck form in this video now since there's so many pokemon to use i'll be breaking this up into six individual battles if you want your own custom theme team or pokemon sweep you can check it out at patreon.com slash link in the description of the video and in the pinned comment all right i've got a lot of random battles today this is a uh, battle on the poker portal this one is against overlord so we have a swords buck winter lead here now this is probably my favorite swords buck out of all of them what is your favorite swords buck if you had to pick a uh, particular one out of the four so this serilage is going to have the weak armor of the this is probably the most trolliest set on my team so i've got a serene grace as the ability we got headbutt zen headbutt bullet seed and double kick I've got Max Attack and Max Speed EVs and King's Rock as the item. Unfortunately, Sarah Lee's is going to be a great counter on my team, and I'm going to faint there. So we're going to go into Swordsbuck, and this is going to be the Autumn form here. It's got the big, uh, sort of like the Autumn looks there, the red sort of leaves there. Now, this is a pretty interesting set. I've got a Choice Band, Sap Zipper as the ability. We've got Horn Leech, Play Rough, Wild Charge, and Stomping Tantrum. And the Terra type is going to be water. Oh, also the uh, Swords Bite Winter's Terra type was normal there. So with this set with the Choice Band as the item, it does hit quite hard. And I can go for the Terra Water there. Now, Terra Water was just purely there in case I come across any counters. As uh, as you can see, this team has got a lot of counters. Like, you know, Fighting type Pokemon, Flying Pokemon, Fire Pokemon. It's really, really bad. So I got that Stomping Tantrum KO there, which is nice. And the Choice Band and the Weak Armor from the uh, Swords Buck earlier did definitely help. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be Gardevoir. And I'm going to swap out my Swords Buck order there because that's really one of the most... You no, know, it's the straight-up most powerful Pokemon on my team. Now, the next Pokemon I've got is Swords Buck Spring. Now, Swords Buck Spring is actually a bulky defensive set. And surprisingly, it worked quite well throughout all the battles that I did. So we got a Gardevoir going for a Terra Fairy. And this is going to be hitting really, really hard. Unfortunately, this matchup here, my Swords Buck Spring, uh, it got wrecked in one shot. But don't worry, people. It will be back in the next battles uh, onwards after this. I really had no Pokemon to swap into that. Now I'm going to bring back in my Swords Buck and go for the Choice Ban Horn Leech. And that is enough to take out the Gardevoir. And it's also going to heal me back there to almost full health. I had to make a calculated sort of uh, assessment there which Pokemon was like the most expendable. And unfortunately, it was my bulky set. Next Pokemon is going to be Golden Goldengo or Golden Rain. And I'm going to swap that out because I don't want to go for Horn Leech. And I'm going to go into my Swords Buck Summer summer form so it's going to go for shadow ball now the thing about that i knew shadow ball might be coming my way because if i've got all pokemon on my team that are normal type and one of them's terror i can use that to my advantage so this is actually a special set and i believe that uh goldengo at this point in time was choice specs or choice scarf so we got the gargonacle swapping you know i'm gonna go for shadow ball now special swords bug is absolute trash it's really really bad but I wanted to use it, and I thought it'd be fun to, uh, you know, to run this and see how much I could squeeze out of it. So I've got the ability Chlorophyll. That's going to be handy, uh, doubling its speed. So I've got Max Special Attack, Modest Nature, and Max Speed. Uh, body Press is going to do an enormous amount of damage to me there, but I just hang on on 7 health, which is really cool. And now I've got the Sun up. So what I'm going to do here is go for Solar Beam, and this is my most powerful move here. I've got Terra Blast, Shadow Ball, Solar Beam, and Sunny Day, Terra Fire as my Terra. Almost takes the Garganacle out. Garganacle is going to go for our overconfident Stealth Rock there. That is actually really going to help out because that means my Swords Bike is still on the field, which means now my opponent needs to choose a move that's not Shadow Ball, right? Because I've got my Swords Bike Autumn left, which is still a normal type. And we've got the Swords Bike. Sorry, it's the uh, other type. It's the Water type. And this is the uh, normal type. So it cannot use Shadow Ball. 
Watch this. So I outspeed due to the chlorophyll, which is really good there. I get pretty good damage here on Gold Dengo, considering it's special source bike, special defensive drop. Now it's going to go for Trick Eye, and it's obviously, I knew that it had a choice item, and it had the choice scarf all along there. My item was charcoal, a piece of charcoal. So I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball here on the Gold Dengo, and I've taken it out there. I've given them a charcoal, and I actually had a massive, massive baby bottle there after receiving the charcoal and getting wrecked by special source bike. I can't believe it. I, I imagine disconnecting to a special source bike. Anyway, let's get on to battle number two. This is a battle against Max. This one was on the uh, Poker Portal as well. If you enjoyed the video so far, if you enjoyed the salty rage crits, the amazing gameplay people, make sure you hit that like button and a comment there for me below. I really appreciate that. All right, so Grafaya is going to uh, one-shot me with a cross poison. It outsped. I was like, damn, that's uh, really, really bad. So that's the end of my winter source bike. Trust me, with the source bike, get some very, very nice uh, you know, little showcase in the next battle there. So we're going to bring in my, uh, this is the bulky set. You didn't get to see this last time. Uh, this is Body Slam, Leech Seed, my favorite healing move, and a Giga Drain. Serene Grace as the ability. So Serene Grace doubles the uh, um, secondary uh, effects. Uh, so that means like, you know, Body Slam has 30% to uh, paralyze, and that means it's got 60% with Serene Grace. So it's, uh, it's kind of nasty. This is max health and max defense, bold nature, uh, sorry, uh, impish nature, and I've got leftovers as the item. So it's a defensive wall, and I found grass-type Pokemon tend to make quite good defensive walls. Of course, I got the stats. This was quite surprising. Like, I did a lot of battles with this team, I reckon about four to five hours, and the amount of times it like lived attacks so that it shouldn't was crazy like and in fact it really did come into handy in a lot of sort of uh situations so Gafire's gonna swap out there and in comes uh, another Gardevoir I'm gonna go for the body slam here good damage here on Gardevoir considering no uh EVs at all in attack and here comes a synchronized set so it didn't have trace at all so I'm gonna get paralyzed which uh you know that kind of sucks so now the Gardevoir is gonna go for a future site my future isn't looking uh very bright so I'm gonna go for the leech seed here so I've got leech seed and I've got leftovers as sustained but um getting hit by that future site if, if it is a max special attack Gardevoir which I'm very, very certain that it's going to be, that's going to really hurt because this is more of a defensive build. Now, I've got Giga Drain for extra little bit of sustain, so I'm not doing a lot of damage here because everything is invested. And as you know, Swords Buck special, uh, special attacks that in base is 60, so it's very, very bad. So here comes the future side, and Swords Buck is going to be fainting there, but I did a pretty good amount of damage there to the Gardevoir, so I've sort of softened it up for my Swords Buck uh, Autumn. So we're going to go for a stopping tantrum here, locking myself into that move because if Gafire comes back in there, I can actually go for stopping tantrum again. And then, you know, that'll be very, very handy doing that. So I'm going to be going for that. So we've got Gafire coming back in here. It's going to go for a prankster toxic instead. And that's going to poison my uh, swords box. I'm like, all right, that's, that's fine. I'll take that. At least I can get rid of this Pokemon. It is... Uh, it is quite threatening. So that's the end of Grafaya there, which is good. So that's half the team down. Now, I, I believe my opponent only brought four Pokemon too. So I'm going to take some uh, toxic damage there, and out comes Belly Bottom. I'm like, wow, this is excellent that I locked myself into Stomping Tantrum. So I'm just going to go for that again. Belly Bolt is really, really thick there. So I knew that I wouldn't actually uh, you know, be able to fight that. It's got Electromorphosis and Parabolic Charge. So due to Source Buck not being so bulky and Electromorphosis and Belly Bolt's nice, sizable special attack and stab, it does a lot of damage to me. And it also heals up the Belly Bolt too. So go for a second Stomping Tantrum there. It just hangs on on one health. And, uh, yeah, people, the merch is available, and it's going to actually destroy me with our uh, Parabolic Charge there. But I was very, very close to taking it out there. I would have loved to still be able to have that, uh, got that KO, but that's fine. So I've got one more Pokemon left, and I've, I've basically got one more Pokemon left on the opponent's side of the field, too. So I'm going to go into the Swords Butt Summer. So I'm going to go for a Disrespect Terror Blast here. And uh, I did want to sort of, re like, reveal this set, because... Yeah, it's not the the the, the charcoal uh, source buck summer isn't really uh, that good. It's it's really really bad. Except when you're versing a sweaty person with a gold digger. Last Pokemon is Greninja. I'm like, all right, here we go, people. I'm gonna go for Terra Fire here, and I'm gonna change my type in case they go for like an Ice Beam. 
and then I can go for Sunny Day, right? And I'll be able to outspeed the Greninja, and then I'll be able to go for Solar Beam. It could be quite good. So Greninja, instead of attacking me, goes for a Protein Substitute. I'm like, what is this set? So it's got the sub up there. I'm like, okay, fair enough. It's a normal type now, so that's good. I can outspeed it this turn. So obviously Protein... Uh, that's it for protein. You know, it, it is now a normal type. So I'm thinking, unless they tear it here into another type, I might be okay. So going for that uh, solar beam there, that's easily going to be able to break the sub there, just, you know, due to the base power. That move looks really, really cool too. And that's going to break that sub there. Now, interestingly enough here, the Greninja doesn't go for an attacking move. It goes for double team. Like, what is this set? So sub -tune and double team with uh, leftovers. So it's like some scumbag bulky Greninja. Like, okay, if I can land a solar beam here, this should do some pretty good damage. It may even fade it, but you know, I was kind of doubtful uh, with its low special attack. So go for that solar beam there. Greninja gets critted by solar beam and special sword spark Terrifier gets another dub. You wouldn't read about it. Thank you for the battle there, Max, whoever you are. Once again, if anyone does battle me in one of these, uh, you know, one of these battles here, please leave a comment at the comment section of the video. Next battle, this one is against uh, Twone City. It sort of looks like Town City, but the O and the W is kind of like mixed around. So the first Pokemon here is going to be Vivleon. So this is where uh, Sawsbuck Winter, holy moly. So it's going to go for a, uh, a headbutt there. I get a nice critical hit. Not that it really matters too much. Uh, this is uh, not a very bo like bulky Pokemon at all, and I get a fling. So, with the uh, with the Pokemon being on one health, I went for a Disrespect double kick there. So, the Salt started to build here. Now, with the Headbutt and Serene Grace as the ability, Headbutt has a 60% chance to um, to flinch, which is really, really good. So, where comes uh, Tigaton? This is uh, going to be kind of bad, because I don't have a lot to swap in. So, we're going to go into the bulky defensive Swords Buck here. Now, instead of going for Gigaton Hammer... It's going to set a Reflect up, and now it's going to use Sword Dance. I'm like, I know that it's got Gigaton Hammer, right? So it's got Reflect, Sword Dance, Gigaton Hammer. My guess at the moment, the other move is probably going to be Player Rough, but I wasn't 100% sure, but I, I believe that's what it probably is going to be. So I've got the Leech Sheet up, which is good there. That's better than me, you know, going for Body Slam, like, right now. And uh, I went for another Sword Dance. I'm like, all right, they're setting up Sword Dances on my uh, Swords Buck, which has virtually no... Uh, like offensive prowess at all. And I got a Paralyze with Body Slam, so it has a 6% chance, so yeah, it's pretty good. So that's going to be helpful at least. I might be able to use that to my advantage, possibly with Leech Seed. So Leech Seed's now going. I went for a final Giga Drain there. I knew, you know, I'm definitely not going to be able to live Gigaton Hammer here. Here it comes, and Sword Spike is going to get destroyed in one shot. But that was to be expected there. Pretty good job putting the Seeds down and Paralyzing. Now, watch this. So I went back into, sorry, I went into the Source Buck, um, this is a Source Buck Summer, and I went for the Terra Fire, because I thought, if they've got Play Rough, I might be able to resist this and live really badly. Because I know uh, Tigaton's attack actually isn't really all that good, so I do have a low chance of actually surviving this if it does go for Play Rough. So first things first, I outsped it. I went for the Sunny Day. I thought that was important to get the Chlorophyll going. Here comes the Play Rough, and unfortunately for me, I get critted, which sucks. I don't know whether that one mattered. I felt like I might have had a small chance of living on a lower mana health and then going for Terra Blast 5, but you know what? It is what it is. That's Pokemon. So the Reflector's now gone. I'm going to go into Swords, but things are looking desperate at the moment. My opponent has brought six Pokemon too. So I went for the headbutt here and I've got a flinch. I'm like, that's really, really good because earlier on I set that leech head up. So that's going to be doing extra additional damage. I got another headbutt and guess what? I got another flinch too. The Tinkaton is going to flinch and faint to the uh, the leech seed there. So that's two Pokemon down. So like, that's excellent. So at least I got rid of that. There's no more reflect around. But there's still a long way to go there because at this point in time, I, um, I was facing down a 5-2, right? So now it's 2-4, right? with the uh, Mirko. So out comes Spooky Doo Doo, and it's going to uh, have the Disguise there. I've got Bullet Seed in this with the King's Rot. That's what the King's Rot was mainly for, and Double Kick. So I went for Bullet Seed here, and now I actually got a good sizable amount of hits. I think I got like four hits here, which is really, really good. Mimiku has gone for an overconfident Home Claws there, thinking that I wouldn't be able to break the sub and then you know, do damage to it afterwards. Now I can go for the Bullet Seed there. Mimiku cannot outspeed me and go for Shadow Sneak either, because I'm a normal type, so that was really good so that's half the team down now 
which is great. So the sun's going to fade. Next Pokemon here is going to be Sylveon. So I'm like, all right, Sylveon, this could one-shot the rest of my Pokemon. Eddie. So I went for a uh, headbutt there. Got a flinch, so that's really, really good. Went for another headbutt here. Got another flinch. <laughs> and then they canceled the battle when I was about to win too. I definitely would have won that battle because the last Pokemon they had weren't exactly bulky. And I could simply, like, flinch them there. So a salty cancel there for the uh, the third battle there. I hope you enjoyed that Serene Grace headbutt set. Let's get on to the next battle here. So we've got three battles dedicated to dealing forms now. The shinies don't really change either with Swordsbuck and dealing. Uh, this is a battle against uh, Kiroshira, and we have a Psyduck lead. Was that called Golden Poop? Let me read that again. No, Goat Poop. Why is it called Goat Poop? I'm not sure why it's called that. Um, I, I don't know if it's a meme or something like that or some sort of uh, reference. Anyway, so I'm going to set the sub up so I can get the dub. And uh, we got the side up going for Confusion. And funnily enough, Confusion fades my sub. I'm like, what? Is this like Choice Specs Confusion or something like that? So I went for the, uh, the headbutt there. This is sort of similar to what my other set is. Let me bring up my uh, stats here because it's it's kind of difficult to see what these uh, these dealing are. They look very, very similar. All right, out comes free Wi-Fi. I went for a body slam there with my little uh, dealing and it's got counter. So uh, I definitely got countered. This was my dealing winter. So I had body slam, headbutt, sub, and leech seed. Serene Grace, bright powder as the item, max health and max speed, jolly nature. So bulky and, uh, and jolly about it. So we're going to bring in my next Pokemon, which is dealing summer. Out of all the dealings, I like this because uh, it just at least it looks different, right? So I'd say Dealing Summer would be my favorite, at least for Dealing. And then I like the winter, the winter form of our swords. But so uh, free Wi-Fi. Well, the Wi-Fi connection just got severed then. So bye bye Wooper. That was uh, that was pretty brutal. So I've got Sunny Day, Solar Beam, Terra Blast, Fire, and Sand Attack. So a little bit of salt there. Chlorophyll is the ability. Everlight as the item. Max health and max special attack there. Modest nature. So where comes our uh, one trio here? Sorry, Wiglet. And uh, Wiglet is going to be an Endure set. So I thought, all right, this is either Endure Weakness Policy, Salic Berry, some sort of, it has to be some sort of Pinch Berry or item here. Uh, to be activated. So there we go. I went for the solar beam and it's got the weakness policy. So I know that it does get Aqua Jet, but with the sun up and it's kind of low attack, it's not going to do much. However, um, I think they're planning to go for another attack there and didn't realize that I had Chlorophyll on this dealing. So that's the end of that. Half the team is now gone. Next Pokemon is going to be Pokey Pickle and it is a uh, slow poke. I don't know what slow poke would be. I guess it would use its tail to poke the pickles or something like that. And it is going to get absolutely decimated by that solar beam so little uh dealing uh dealing uh what's it uh, the summer form no not the summer form yeah it is the summer form is going to be destroying this team next pokemon is daisy the shelter uh my sun actually runs out there which is actually really bad because the shelter is going to go for a shell smash now, after the Shell Smash, obviously I'm going to be out speedier. It did go through my mind to go for Chlorophyll, but me thinking what sort of item they're running, they're probably going for either a Sash or maybe uh, maybe another different item. But I'm thinking with Shell Smash Shelter, it will probably be a focus that. So we've got a Terra Fire Shelter here. So it's like a little, it's like a, like a roasted clam, basically. So Terrifier, Terror Blast is going to be a real, real threatening move here. Now, I don't know what this is coming off. It's either coming off its attack or special attack. Let's be real, though. Either way, dealing is going to get destroyed. So that's half my team gone. We're going to go to the next dealing. Now, this dealing was my... Let me uh, look at it. Uh, this was my... Oh, this is my special set. This was even worse than my special source, but this is the spring set. So we've got Fake Tears, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, and Thunder Wave. Now, this one's got a Focus Ash as the item. Serene Grace as ability, Timber Nature, Max Speed, Max Special Attack. So my number one priority was to go for Thunder Wave there, to slow this thing down. So then I was like, let's go for Shadow Ball here. This is, you know, is that a special defense drop? And I took it all the way down to the Focus Ash. Now, I could have done that before, but I just wanted to make sure with uh, you know, Thunder Wave there. And it's going to finish me off with a disrespect tackle. So I'd have to say this is definitely a physical set. I got beaten by a tackle. Next Pokemon is going to be dealing. Now this uh, dealing with dealing with here is going to be the autumn set so this is my choice band set so it's sort of a throwback to the source buck i was running before so we've got double edge sea bomb terror blast water and wild charge 
Uh, max attack and max speed Adam and Nature. So, you know, trying to really, really get that extra bit of power there. So go for the Terra Blast Water, and that is the end of uh, Daisy the Shelter. I don't know why it's called that. But if anyone can uh, figure these references out, maybe they're just like random names. Last Pokemon is Pip Carp. So it's like, all right. I know what they're going to try and do here. What they're going to do is they've got Focus Sash on this, and they're going to try and go for a full Blast uh, Flail. I'm not going to allow them to go in the full range of Flail, so I'm going to go for Terra Blast Water again. So that's a two-hit KO, and that is the end of the Mighty Pimp Cup there. And uh, that's also the end of the battle. What a crazy battle. Like, it was going back and forth there uh, for a while, and that shoulder nearly reverse swept me. Let's get on to battle number... What is this? One, two... Battle number five, uh, Staying Alive. This is a battle against the elusive Pimp Bot here. And it's a Scatterbug floatingly. Now, if you don't know Pimpbot, right, it's a little bit of backstory here for a little bit of Pimpbot lore. So back in X and Y, ever since X and Y, this uh, mysterious Pimpbot person has been coming to streams, uh, to battles. No one knows who they are, but they sort of like just uh, snipe battles, right? And uh, it's, it's a sort of like a mysterious person who has been here for many, many years. I think it's like nine years since... Wait, is it 9 or 10 years since X and Y? Anyway, that's how long it's been. So this Scatterbug is a threat. It's also roasting me because it's called Scatterben. And uh, this, uh, what I tried to do, right, because it was such a threatening Pokemon, like, you'll probably near, never hear anyone say that Scatterbug is threatening. Like, this is the only, like, Pip Knife channel thing, though. So I went for the headbutts there, and I got the flinches, which is really good there. However, they swapped out and went into Voltorb. Now, Voltorb is going to go for Discharge there, and I actually managed to live that, which is really cool, and get another Body Slam off here, and now it's going to finish off me the uh, Discharge there. So, Scatterbug and Voltorb, which is a pretty interesting team so far. Some little baby Pokemon. Now, I'm going to go into the next dealing. This dealing... Oh, this is the, uh, the, yeah, this is the choice band set. It's going to go for foul play here. That does a lot of damage. Now, I just went for double edge. Double edge is going to take Voltorb out. Voltorb has got aftermath, so that's going to do some extra damage to me, plus the recall damage of the double edge too. But, you know, I had to get rid of that Pokemon. It's fast and had foul play too. Next Pokemon is Kappa, and it's shiny Tynamo. Um, I've actually done a Tynamo sweep before, so if you like Tynamo, it's out there. I'm going to be able to take that out with one double edge, and that is the end of the Kappa, unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, Dealing is going to faint due to the recall damage too. So now I've only got two Pokemon left. I've still got a Scatterbug and, two, uh, wait, two other Pokemon. To, sorry, three other Pokemon to contend with. I think, I think this is a 4 versus 6. Next Pokemon is Varum. Now, Varum, I've got this Dealing for is going to be perfect because this is my Terra Fire set. So with this, uh, with this set, I can go for a Sunny Day and then Terra Blast. A uh, fire, and that should be able to take it out there, depending on what the set is, of course. So, Terra Fire, Sunny Day, I'm going to activate Chlorophyll. So, I've got that sun going. Now, it's going to go for Poison Gas, which is interesting. A lot of Pokemon didn't actually get toxic this uh, generation. Like, it was that sort of cut move there. But a few did get Poison Gas, which is kind of interesting. Now, we're going to have a Terra from my opponent here. I was like, all right, please go into something. Like, I hope it's not like fire or something like that. And it turned out to be Terra Poison. It's really funny, too, because the sh the, the, on the top of the uh, Varun, the skull is like shaky. Look, it's like, it's super shaky. So, go for the Terra Fire here. Good damage, but not enough, sadly. Here comes a uh, Terra Poison jab on my dealing. Since I turned myself into a fire type, it wasn't super effective, which, you know, allowed me to live, which is great. Now my opponent is going to go for Protect this. So they're Protect stalling me. So this has got Poison Jab, Protect, and which is like a stalling and like, po sorry, and Poison Gas. So it's all based around like poisoning the opponent, you know. So now they're going to go for a double Scumbag Protect here. I was like, oh no, I hope they don't get like... And like a triple one. That'll be really, really bad. It's like that Blissey kid, right? If you remember, if you ever watched the uh, the Butterfree sweep, it was the, uh, I think it was the it was the Butterfree sweep. There was this Blissey kid, right? And they used Protect four times in a row and said they were unlucky. If you know, you know, right? If you've seen that video, it's an absolute masterpiece. So anyway, that's the end of Varun there. They went for a triple protect, but it failed. And I took a Varun out in a children's game of Pokemon. I'm, I'm feeling good about that. So de dealing is on its last legs here. Next Pokemon is Electro. I'm like, oh no, this is really, this is even faster. Now it's going to go for a charge beam here. And that is going to be the end of the dealing. And I'm going to I'm gonna do a, uh, a Voltorb family team when uh, the Hisawain one comes in the game. I can't wait for that. I've got a good plan there. I might use Explosion four times. So here comes the uh, a charge. So it's a charge charge beam set. I'm like, all right, this is interesting. 
Oh, uh, maybe it doesn't have any other attacking move outside that. So I'm going to go for fake tears here. Unfortunately, charge kind of countered me there because I only got one special defensive drop. And now this Electro can, you know, bolster their special attack with the charge beam too. So I just went for Shadow Ball. I was kind of... You know, hoping for uh, a little bit of special defense drop, and it didn't happen. So I fired a ball, little ball there, people. So now I'm going to go for fake tears here. Electro goes for Mirror Code. I was like, oh, I was really lucky I didn't attack then. So then I had an idea. I'm like, if they're going to try and fake me with Mirror Code, I'm just going to keep going for fake tears, right? So they went for Mirror Code again. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go for attacking with this turn. And they went for Explosion. I'm like, come on. So the dealing, unfortunately, is not going to live that. It was my last dealing, and uh, I think Scatterbug was the... Yeah, Scatterbug was the only remaining Pokemon, and that's it, people. What a crazy battle. Like, some really interesting uh, Pokemon there as well. Thank you, Pit, my bot, bot for the battle there. I don't know who you are. Um, it's been 10 years, but uh, it's been a real 10 years. You're a real one. Next Pokemon battle here. This is against Super Bowser, and we've got another Voltorb here, so it's not often you get to see Voltorb twice. So... Voltorb's going to go for a Thunder Shot. I think what they'll try to do there is go for a Paralyze to make me salty. So Voltorb is going to have a Focus Sash here. Um, this is sort of like Deja Vu for the last battle, and I got static. I'm like, come on. So I thought I got around the Paralyze, um, you know, with the Thunder Shot, but I got Paralyzed by static. So now it's going to go for Explosion here. Now Voltorb is like two attacks, so... You know, even dealing as a chance of living that one. So I went for double edge there. It's not going to affect anything. And next Pokemon is dealing. Wait, what's this one? I'm getting confused. Is this a family feud? I think it is. I think we're the same dealing. No, that's the winter dealing. Next Pokemon I thought to bring in is going to be my shiny dealing, which is the winter set. Hang on. I'm getting confused. I'm getting very, very confused here. Is it the sub one? Yeah, this is it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a winter. It's a family feud between the, uh, the, the dealing winters. So what I did right is I went for the sub to try and get the dub. Then I started using body slam. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go for Serene Grace body slam here. Now, unfortunately, here the opposing dealing got all the luck on the RNG. Then they swapped it out. I'm like, huh? What's going on here? So then they went into Star Ravia. I'm like, oh no. What, what is this strategy going to be? So it's going to dro uh, like drop my attack with Intimidate. And I went for Body Slam on the swap. So I'm like, okay, that's all right. That looked pretty funny. They went for a Disrespect Tackle. That's why they swapped it in. They wanted to faint me with a Tackle. So, you know, I'm starting to get a little bit salty now. So I went into dealing number three. So I'm like, all right, I need to get them back for this. So now here comes a final gamble. Like, what the? And then dealing takes like half its health there. It's a good thing like we didn't have four health because I think I might have almost fainted. So that turn I went for Sunny Day and then I plan to outspeed this Star Raver after. Next Pokemon is Drowsy. It's going to be forewarmed of my Solar Beams. It's like, alright, well they already know that I've got Solar Beam. I may as well just go for it, right? So this is probably... Like, this is probably one of my more surprised Pokemon. So, I went for the Terrify here, obviously. And I'm thinking, well, I can either maybe try and go for Shadow Ball there or just Solar Beam. So, I ended up going for the... Uh, sorry, this is the Solar Beam set. I went for that and it did nothing. This Drowsy was, like, ultra thick. Like, super duper thick with, like... No, 300 C. So it went for the poison gas there. It missed. It's like a bulky troll set. And in comes the dealing. I went for sand attack. They tried to go for a sap zipper then. I bet you they tried to go for that sap zipper. So anyway, I'm going to go for the terror blast fire there. And that is the end of the dealing, which is really good. I roasted it. So I finally took that out. Now there's a couple of Pokemon left here. We got Fletching. Look at him flying in the sky. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get wrecked by this thing. So it's going to be Terra Fletching only on Pinnacle Shadow. And it's going to be Terra Flying Fletching too. So it's got the little balloons there. When you look at those balloons, right, they're about as big as Fletchling's body. So I'm wondering what this set was going to be. So it's going to be Terra Fly. So uh, that's the end of the Fletching. It's flown out of the stadium. And uh, it's going to go for a fly now. And that is... Wait, it, dis it disappeared. Absolute amazing animation. I lived on one health. He wouldn't read about it. And then I went for the Terror Blast. He had good damage on Fletching. And you wouldn't read about this. It went for... Uh, so I went for the Terror Blast here. And then the Fletching, right? It went for a Peck. They've taken him out with Tackle and Peck in the same battle. So that was their plan all along there. To take me out with Tackle and Peck. So now I'm starting to get really salty. So I went into my final dealing. I went for a Shadow Ball here uh, to take out the... You know, the massive threat there, which was Fletching. So all that's left now, I think it's just Drowsy. This is a 4v5 battle. Yeah, it was. Last Pokemon was Drowsy. I'm like, all right, this is good. I can go for uh, the Fake Tears and drop Drowsy's special defense. Now, Drowsy is going to go for a Disable. 
That was a great play there, but unfortunately for them, I didn't go for Shadow Ball. So Fate Tears got disabled instead of Shadow Ball. So now I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball there. Good damage on Drowsy. And uh, I can take this out in a two hits. Here comes a Fire Punch. Fire Punch is a three hit KO. I'm going to go for that Shadow Ball there. I think Drowsy may have a healing move here, but it's going to only have the uh, Poison Gas there. So Poison Gas is going to miss, and Drowsy is going to faint there. And that is the end of the final battle, people. I hope you enjoyed that one. All the forms of Swords Buck and Dealing. And that's about it. Peace out.